All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Let us just thank the Lord for getting us through the morning, getting us through the evening, getting us through the night. Just thank him for so much things, y'all. His word, his only begotten sent down for our sins, his grace, mercy, favor, love. Just his outstretched arm, the mighty hand, the finger of God. Just countless of things the Lord has done for us. He continues to do for us. Amen. He will never leave us nor forsake us. The Lord changed not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right. So we know that when we look to the hills, where does our help comes from? It comes from the Lord, y'all. Most definitely still looking out for all four corners of the earth, y'all. So give him some praise and thank him. More praising, less complaining. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. Welcome, everybody. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. I'm praying for you all, okay? Brothers and sisters in the faith, all ends of the earth, man. We are here, people. We are here gathered together, all right? We are still praising the Lord. Let us always uplift each other in the Lord. Let us always encourage each other in Christ. And always pray, comfort, and support one another. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all four corners of the earth, all kindreds. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, all the birds in the air, all the mountains, the trees, the plants. Let all of God's creation praise him. Hallelujah. Most definitely, all kindreds, all of y'all, man. Yes, yes, all the ends of the earth, all corners of the earth, most definitely, y'all. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, call in the name of the Lord, cry out to him, worship him in spirit and truth, serve him with gladness and joy. Do what you got to do, get his attention. Shake up the heavens and the earth with your praise. Just call on him, cry out to him, amen, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, people. Praise him. Make a joyful noise, people. Make a joyful sound, people. Yes, most definitely. Let us love the Lord our God, Father, our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. And he is coming back for a people who are ready to go, blameless, spotless, Yes, yes, most definitely. Let us be washed up by the water through the word, by the word. And let us always keep our lamps and our oils. Let's stay ready, people. Amen. He is coming back, y'all. All right. So let us be on point with the times that we're in. OK. Nothing filthy, abominable or detestable can enter the new Jerusalem. Amen. So let's clean it up. Let's clean up. Our, let's clean up our act, people. Let's get it together. Let's stay obedient, y'all. All right. Yes, yes. Stay strong in these end times. All right. Plenty of prophecy being fulfilled. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get closer to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statutes, and commandments. And let us obey all of his word. Amen. Anything the most high told you personally or confirmed to you or what have you, respect that and honor that as well. Whatever is regarding your future, your purpose, your calling, your gifts, your assignment, your task, whatever the Lord has assigned you with, handle that. Amen. Yes, yes, y'all. So here we are. I appreciate all of you for listening. I hope that you all had a blessed day and better days come your way. And if you're going through hardships or a troubling time right now, the Lord be with you. OK, let the Lord strengthen you and you keep calling out to him. All right. Take it one day at a time. All right. Now, in today's message, I'm going to do a commentary within the book of Joshua. All right. So we'll go through this commentary and then we will close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing and we will close out giving all the praise, honor and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. All right. Today's Bible reading, the book of Joshua, chapter 10, verses 1 through 15. Recommended reading, the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 1 through 13. The book of Luke, chapter 18, verses 1 through 8. And also the book of James, chapter 5, verses 13 through 20. The title of this commentary is Answers to Prayer. All right, here we go. How's this for an incredible story? Joshua prayed and the sun actually stood still in the sky for about a full day. And why not? 
The God of the universe is the God of the sun and sky. But imagine what it must have been like for the troops in Israel. What must they have thought as the hours wore on and the sun didn't set? Those who heard about Joshua's prayer must have felt emboldened to pursue their enemies even harder. And put yourself in the place of the enemy troops. What a nightmare for them, with no place to hide and no setting sun to provide a respite. What would you do with an extra 24 hours? Say you've had one of those days at work. Too much to do, too little time to get everything done. So you pray, God, please give me an extra few, a few extra hours so I can complete this task. Only if only that could happen. Your work deadlines may not move, but that doesn't mean that God doesn't hear your prayers. Nearly every day we miss opportunities to receive answers to prayer. Joshua prayed and got an answer. When we pray earnestly and honestly, we align our purpose with God's and we can expect answers too. Of course, we don't know how God will answer. He might heal someone, restore a marriage or end the pain of someone who has suffered for decades or for reasons we can't understand at the moment. God might not heal someone, restore a marriage, or end someone's pain. However, these outcomes are still his answers. As amazing as the story of answered prayer is, God can and still does even more astounding things for his people who come to him with their praise and petitions. Join God's prayer team. Pray fervently, even when you don't know what answer you want or need to hear. Pray for answers aligned with God's purposes. And be sure of one thing, God will answer. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. When was the last time you sensed a clear answer to prayer? How often do you spend the time alone, earnestly praying to God? What are some ways you can make sure your purpose is aligned with God's purpose? Hallelujah, y'all. So that is the commentary, all right? Answers to prayer, all right? When we pray to the Lord for things, some of the things get answered and certain things don't. Either way, we always trust in him and call on him day and night, all right? In these times that we're in, we have to constantly keep calling on them, amen, because, boy, some serious times we in, y'all. All four corners of the earth and probably in our personal lives, amen. So we, we always going to call on the Lord for everything, amen. Most definitely. So that is the commentary, all right? The same way Joshua, you know, made that demand of making the sun and the moon still, sit still, we got to have requests, prayers, petitions, thanksgivings, demands, or declares. We got to just go up to the Father about it, amen. We got to open up our mouths to the Father, amen. So... Prayer is very important, okay? So just prayer is up for everybody who's listening, those out there who are going through something. You feel me? Prayer is up, all right? So there you have it. Now, that's the commentary. What I would love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise is only begotten so die for our sins. Amen? Hallelujah. So here we go. Praise the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Praise him. He is the God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He is the advocate. Yes, his son is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, y'all. He is the almighty, true, living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler. The branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the constellation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, the eternal life, the everlasting father, the faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and the last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate. The glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jireh, Jehovah, Shalom, Jehovah. Yes, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, king eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, the king of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader, commander, the life, the life of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness, the Lord is my portion. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my good fortress. The Lord is my high tower. The 
The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my buckler. Yes, the Lord is our standard. He is a sufficient one. Praise him. Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahweh, Shai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai, Yeshai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yeshua, Ahai, Yeshai, most definitely El Shaddai, Adonai, Elohim, Yahuwah, Yahweh. Yes, he is a consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He is the great physician who can heal all things. He's the carpenter who can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing is too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rests on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree. Amen. His time and perfect time and due time and calling him. He'll show you great mighty things. Search for him with all of your heart, y'all. All of your heart. Seek him, y'all. Most definitely, he is rewarded to those who seek him diligently, y'all. His outstretched arm, his mighty hand, the finger of God, it is doing it daily, nightly. It is doing it, people. He is doing it. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We know that true miracles, true wonders, true signs come from the Father. Hallelujah. The true one, all right? Yes, yes, we know we worship. He's the God of peace. He's not the Lord. He's not the author of confusion, y'all. Come on now. We know we worship. God worship the Spirit of truth, people. Call on Him. Call on Him. Get what you need. Call on Him. Hallelujah. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. Praise him. With him, all things are possible. He is the Lord of all, the Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the message of the covenant. He fights for you. Come on now. Who is against you? God is with you. Who is against you? Y'all, come on. He is the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God, our savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace, the prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection in life, the resurrection, the resurrected life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation. The ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God, the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone of builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him, the wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah. The word of Elohim, the word of El Shaddai, the word of Yahweh, the word of Yahuwah, y'all. Yes, yes. His word is pure, fine silver, just as David said in Psalms. Every word of God is pure, as the book of Proverbs says. And his word is a double-edged sword, as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. His son is very excellent for dying for our sins. Only his blood could clean up our mess. Amen. Most definitely, he is very awesome for that. Most definitely, he is the seed of Abraham, promise, the seed of Adam, humanity, the seed of David, kingship, the seed of God, deity, the seed of Jacob, nationality, the seed of Judah, tribe, the seed of Shem, race, the seed of woman, prophecy. Amen. We touch and agree. In the authority and the power of the name of Jesus Christ, you are healed, renewed, restored, with name, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new song to sing, new praise, new worship. Come on, the Lord's doing a new thing, new creature of Christ. Be born again in the spirit of water. Be born again into the kingdom like a child, people. Renewed heart, renewed heart, renewed heart. Diligence, strength, peace, love, comfort. I speak those things over your life forevermore. Stability, strength, overcoming, conquering. I speak that in the name of Jesus forevermore. Yes, you're more than a conqueror, people. Come on. Stay strong with it. Stay strong, all right? Hallelujah. I just pray to God that whoever listens to this message, I just pray that you repent and get baptized, start your life over. Get going on that narrow path and stay on it. Amen. Most definitely. All right. So there you have it. All right. That's the word for today. Now, what I would love to do as I close out is give you all the priestly blessing on the way out. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Shalom. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I love you all. Praying for you all. Peace.